Just gonna cut this away so we have a flatter surface to work with. Oh my god! I've opened up a little air hole for me to breathe out of. Yeah. Oh, sweet oxygen! I'm just talking out of my really tiny coochie right now. Good afternoon. Oh, whoops! Turned a bit too fast. I did not calculate the momentum right. Good afternoon, evening, or night, Exolots. For legal reasons, I don't know where you live. So if you haven't been living under a rock for the past decade, or if you lack the ability to make good decisions in life, you've probably heard of TikTok and have become drastically addicted to it. That or its slightly deformed cousins, YouTube shorts, or Instagram reels. And if you're on the beauty side of those areas, chances are you've probably seen this type of makeup before. Typically done by Asian women. Now, the most popular term for this makeup is called Douyin makeup because it is most commonly seen in Douyin, which is the Chinese equivalent of TikTok. Now, I've never done this style of makeup in my life, but more and more of these gorgeous Chinese girls have been showing up on my For You page. And due to my drastic symptoms of FOMO and insatiable urge to always look hot, I take it as a sign for me to try it out. I also have... A bunch of hair that I ripped out of a woman's scalp shoved into a little plastic baggie. And so I will actually be fully transforming myself into a Douyin girl. And then I'll be posting photos and videos of it onto TikTok and see if I blow up like these girls do. Okay, so at first I was going to follow one video tutorial but I scrapped the plan afterwards and you'll see why. So we are gonna be following this makeup tutorial to be exact, it's just called Douyin makeup tutorial. I'm assuming they just took it from a Chinese influencer and reposted it. And what made me want to choose this is the fact that they put hashtag Douyin makeup, hashtag ASMR makeup, and hashtag Chinese makeup. Because you see, Chinese trends and stuff, I've noticed, have always been just repackaged as something else, Korean or Japanese. So I really appreciate that this person understands and appreciates the Chinese origins. And they put hashtag Korean makeup and hashtag Ozang makeup above the other tags. And they put it <laughs> and they put it in the description too. Korean makeup, Ozang makeup, Blackpink Lisa makeup. Oh wait, we even we even got a Japanese makeup. And I know this doesn't have anything to do with it, but the fact that the song is fake love by BTS just makes it even funnier. Now you're probably wondering, oh, Feline, how are you going to do this makeup look? If you're wearing a mask, wouldn't it be cheating to just do the eyes? And to that I say, I'm going to do it on top of my mask. You guys remember like years ago in the pandemic, this was the peak of humor when it came to making fun of makeup channels? Okay, so usually in all these looks, the girl will be wearing colored contact lenses and it's usually in brown, grey or blue. Oh, no. The one I'm putting on now was actually called green, however, this ain't green, man. This is grey. Ow, 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 ow. So first of all, you always start off with some sunscreen. You start off with some sunscreen and I'm gonna just uh, push my hair up like this to get it out of the way. <laughs> it's in the roll. I will start off with a light coverage of concealer. Apply under here to hide the evidence from last night. Oh my god, why is my forehead spelling out Morse code? So the concealer is almost always done in triangle shapes, is what I've noticed. It lifts the corners of the eyes and around the nose to make you look less like a fermented dough. And they also put it here on the head and on the side of the forehead to conceal the mega mind. One time I did my makeup with my friend and she told me that I was being too aggressive with it. But my logic is that if you're too gentle with the product, it's gonna come off easily, right? You need to make the concealer your bit. Oh, now I'm beginning to realize why they put the contact lenses on at the end. I'm in great agony right now. So foundation is just a typical light spread around your face, which would be easy if your skin tone didn't change every five business days, like mine did, because my tan is about as consistent as my will to live. I'm gonna put the foundation and I'm just gonna, you know, make it... Wait, is this my shade? What? This is... Oh, wait, no. What color am I, bitch? I'm not gonna lie, if you squint your eyes a little, it actually seems quite seamless. 
I feel like they've been having deja vu for some reason. Okay, on camera, I think it looks decent, but in real life, I look like a cake that's been left out in the sun for too long. There, boom. So after this is contour. There are many ways you can contour the nose, all with the same intentions of making it look smaller, thinner, and taller. The contour typically does not go the entire way down to the bridge, just at the tips and at the top from the eyebrows. I'm gonna do the second one because I think it fits me the most. Go from your eyebrow to here first. Yes, this is this is correct. I'm so smart. Eh, eh. And then you go in. I am inhaling a lot of product right now. Oh! <coughs> oh! Oh, why does it smell this bad? I don't remember it smelling this bad when I did this the first time. Now to the fun part is... <sighs> oh, the smell. Oh my god, I'm losing it. Oh, I'm actually getting a migraine from this. I don't think this is good, guys. And then we take the highlight and we apply it to the point of the nose. And here's a little tip I learned. Uh, if you're applying highlight, don't do like an entire strip down to the tip of your nose. Just do it here and do it here. So it looks a bit more natural. Oh, that smells horrible. I think I'm dying. <laughs> guys, 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 I gotta be, guys, I gotta be real. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not about to faint. I'm not gonna lose anything here except maybe the ability to have children in the future. Was that a fairy? Actually, should I look at the expiry date? I'm not gonna look at the expiry date anymore. We're going to put like this e.l.f. blush. So this is the most popular post about blush that I've seen on Douyin and Xiaohongshu. Unfortunately, I was so high on chemicals here that I forgot about it and just did dots on the top of my cheekbones and on my nose. So I missed out on the chin and upper eye part, but let's be real here, there's no saving this anyways. If any of my doormates knock on my door right now, I think I might have to kill myself. Um, I'm gonna do some surgery for real quick. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut this away so we have a flatter surface to work with. Oh my god! I've opened up a little air hole for me to breathe out of! Oh, sweet oxygen! <laughs> I'm just talking out of my really tiny coochie right now. We're just gonna indicate where the nose is. A lot of these doing girls, they have like really tiny nostrils. Fun fact, some really professional makeup artists use stuff like tape or these hellish looking nose plugs to achieve a smaller nostril. But that's scary, so I'm just gonna draw it on my mask like a rational person would. Yes, I've, I've, I've achieved it. Okay. I'm going to do this very standard glittery eye look. I have lost my train of thought multiple times in this video. So this is important to note, the eyeliner is typically quite thin and instead of going up like a cat, it's typically more uh, straight. Happy Pride Month. Huh, that's actually pretty cute, right? Careful, SpongeBob! SpongeBob, careful! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Whoops! Oh, that's not good. And in some of these tutorials, they actually add like a stripe of eyeliner at the bottom of the eye, which I've never done before. Interesting. But it does create a dolly kind of look. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, yeah, I can see how it looks nice. My attempt personally looks like I've been crying in the bathroom for a few hours. But considering the amount of chemicals I've inhaled, that might be likely later on, so I can't really complain. So I'm using this big boy that looks like you can shove it up my ass. Usually this artist will put like individually placed false eyelashes. And I think they're called manhwa lashes. But I just use mascara and a tweezer to pinch my eyelashes together. Because I'm too lazy to do that. Oh shoot, I forgot the eyeshadow! <gasps> Ow! Oh, that was my good pinky! Here are the woo sparkly shiny shiny! Look at the shiny shiny! So again, there's different types of Douyin makeup, but if you're doing the basic one, sparkly eyeshadow is a must. If it does not glimmer to the point where you will blind the senior citizen, it is not good enough.
Shimmer, shimmy, 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 Wow. Okay, now for the um the thingy mabob. What the the thingy mabob? The mascara. If these eyelashes do not rise up to meet God, I don't want them. Okay, you can see that they're up, but they're looking a bit. How do you say this? Ugly. So we're going to pinch them together. So I'd say my eyelashes are already averagely long, and to be honest, pinching them together felt weird. It was like I was walking a fine line between pretty lashes or no lashes at all. It's almost a metaphor in life. Oh, you see that? Oh, not bad. <laughs> and just like with all metaphors in life, I win because I am the best. Thank you, amen. Oh, that's nice. Holy shit, that's actually nice. I'm telling you guys, it's the Chinese blood. My ancestors have waited for this day. It is my birthright to get Douyin makeup right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch, okay? Mm. Ow. Well, if you ignore everything under here, the top part looks actually kind of cute. For the lips, uh, we're going to be doing a nice little soft gradient. So at this point, I was actually in a lot of pain from the eye makeup, but thankfully, I handled it like a pro would. Ouchie, ouch, ouchie, ouch, ouch. I'm going to first draw on the shapes. So the default lip shape of most these girls is usually a generous amount of top lip and a much thicker bottom lip with a prominent cupid's bow. Now if you're looking for the more grungy kinds of makeup looks on Douyin, it's typically matte and dark colours. If not, then it's a bright pink and glossy shade. Oh, how does this smell worse? Oh, what is this scent? <laughs> So there are also specific steps apparently to applying the lipstick. In fact, you can even change the shape of your lips slightly with the help of concealer. Again, it's mostly triangular shapes building around the corners. Most from what I've seen use the lipstick to make this line that goes down the bottom lip, which is incredibly hard to recreate on a mask. Uh, uh, oh! Oh shoot! <laughs> Okay, I may have drawn the lips a bit too high up. Oh dear lord. <laughs> we're done. Okay, we're done. We tried. Had it not been for this part, we would have succeeded, okay? What do you think? Yay? Okay, so here is the fit. First of all, this crop top. So it kind of like goes like this, which I think is pretty cool. It used to have a cool little pin here, but unfortunately, I lost it somehow, which is a shame. It just kind of fell off, I guess, like my career. Next up, the same black skirt that I have been wearing since I was 16 years old. It just, it's nice, guys. It has pockets. They're fake pockets because they think women don't have anything valuable, I suppose. But there's, they, they still look like pockets. So I'm gonna put this on real quick. And just like before, I'm gonna show you a magic trick. No bazoinkas. Boom. Titties. I don't think the skirt is working, guys. Like, due to my lack of a bodacious buttock, I look like a giant tampon. So change of plans. I'm gonna go with pants instead. Let's see how it looks. Okay, honestly, this is kind of giving, I think. If we just put in a few accessories, what do you think? Now, this is actually an expensive bucket of hair. Uh, the rest of my wigs, I got them for like 10 ringgit online. This one I got from a store. Hence, like the quality difference, but this one was like 70 ringgit. So yeah, it's definitely a lot. Wow, this is, this is a lot better than my other wigs. I'm beginning to understand why the word invest exists now. She's been sealed in a plastic baggie for a few years, but she's ready to be free. Oh wow! Yeah! 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 Get on my head! Get on my head! Get on my head! I have to wrestle this bitch! Oh god, why am I so fatigued? Are you guys ready for it? Are you ready for it? This feels so weird, guys. I don't know if it's just the mask. I'm gonna switch to a black mask. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Bonjour. Why am I French? <clears throat> Ni hao. <laughs> I keep like walking in to surprise myself with this look. Like... Oh. 
Oh, hello there. Hold on, just you wait, just you wait. I got something else on my sleeve. Oh my god! Oh my god! Guys. All right, all right, fellas. Let's jump to the conclusion, shall we? So basically, I have posted three TikTok videos of me in this disguise in order to see if I will blow up like those Douyin girls do. The first TikTok was done differently from the other two because I'm actually wearing a normal mask in that one to decrease the satirical effect. I'm seeing these puzzles, puzzles there's no copyright. What it is, hoes, what's up? up? Every good girl needs a bit of love. Every something I forgot the lyrics here. The blah 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 pick it up. However, what I failed to realize is that my extremely stiff dancing skills counteracted that. The caption was, new skin just unlocked. I stole that joke from a friend. Then I realized I needed to sell this persona more. So I just added some Chinese words. It means, your mom is on my bed. I then carefully selected the tags, hashtag FYP, hashtag FYP with a Japanese letter, hashtag XYZBCA, which I still have no idea what it means. I just see people use it. Hashtag 04, hashtag Douyin two times, hashtag social experiment, and to really top it all off, to really seal the look, hashtag Boba. Now I was expecting a crowd of people who were confused, bewildered even, but all I got in my comment section was genuine compliments or people making fun of me for the whole Jenny video. You guys suck, okay? Fool the world into thinking you're your own cousin one time and no one lets it go. And then the video flopped. It only got 30k within 4 days. <laughs> the next one, I was a bit more blatant in my attempt. It was done with the full look. I will never let copyright win over me for sure. I made sure to add the words Douyin makeup attempt into the video itself and I put face reveal in the captions just to mess with people because I can't and this time the comments were a bit different some people think I was using the same mask as from a year ago and I need to ask do I really give off the vibes of a person who would keep a mask that looks like this for over a year? Actually, don't answer that. Some other people genuinely thought I revealed my face for a brief second and just assumed I was either A, a victim who was mauled by a bear, B, had tape all around my face somehow, or C, wearing a transparent mask. So all I got from that experiment attempt was that I'm very concerned about the visual impairment of my freaking viewers. This video did the best out of the others, standing at around 50,000 views after one or two days. Most of the comments were again, laughing at me in the face. So maybe a faceless YouTuber doing this experiment is not so effective after all. Last one was basically the same as the other videos because I... I forgot to do a different pose. I literally just repeated the same default pose for all my TikTok videos. It took my entire being to practice and post that dance from the first TikTok. I had to vomit violently afterwards. My body rejected the fact that I did that. So, what have we learned from this? One, I make a hot Douyin girl. Two, I am very bad at going undercover and maybe I should stop doing that. Three, I think the greatest lesson we can learn from this is we should all just be ourselves. I'm just shitting with you, and given the option, always choose to be Zendaya. That's all for now. Honestly, this video was just me teaching you how to do Douyin makeup, and also me hyping myself up for 10 minutes straight. Let me know what you think of this new and improved Not Jenny, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye! Douyin punch.